Welcome back to the GSMC Golf Podcast presented by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Garris McDaniel. We're getting right into our third segment of the night, talking about the Team USA Olympic roster as it has been announced and talking about the controversy that comes with it. All right, let me name you the four names on this roster. Sky Scheffler, best golfer in the world, bar none. Easy. Uh, this goes by points. Nobody picks the teams. Uh, so it does go off of a statistical-based system here. Um so Sky Scheffler gets in on a statistical based system. You don't say guy leads in every single stat, has won so many events. I mean any whatever you want to throw at him, he is number one in. So that makes sense. Zinner Shoffley just won a PGA championship, is the world golf number two right now, play, has been playing fantastic. That absolutely makes sense. Colin Morikawa, been great as of late, uh one of the best golfers in the last uh half decade. Um that makes sense. He absolutely deserves it. Wyndham Clark. Okay, that's the one. That's the one that I'll p- pull back on a little bit. We'll talk about what I think is wrong with Wyndham Clark in a fourth segment. So I'm not going to dig too deep into this guy. I'm not going to start trashing him for no reason. Um, that means we're leaving off two big names that I think deserve it over Wyndham Clark. The biggest name that everybody's talking about is Bryson DeChambeau. But not a lot of people are talking about. Um, not a lot of people are talking about who I think might be a, maybe even a little bigger name that got let off, and it's Patrick Cantley. Patrick Cantley has been playing some fantastic golf as of late. Um, the last couple of years, really, he's been playing great golf. Uh, finished last year as the world golfer number five, uh, only behind Scotty Scheffler, Rory McIlroy, John Rahm, and Victor Hovland. And then it was Patrick Cantley at five. He barely misses out. Because Wyndham Clark is riding a high of a U.S. Open and played well in the play and played well in the first half of this year, I, 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 I really do. And everybody doesn't like Patrick Hanley, and I'm on that boat. I understand with the that taking the hat off at the Ryder Cup. I understand why people don't like Patrick Hanley, and it's definitely I, it, I definitely can't agree with some of the things. But when it comes to a golfer. And when it comes to somebody that I want to be there for Team USA in an Olympics, who I think is a better golfer, I truly think Patrick Cantlay is a better golfer than Wyndham Clark. And I truly think that Bryson DeChambeau is a better golfer than Wyndham Clark as well. But everybody's talking about Bryson DeChambeau. And Bryson DeChambeau, if Live Golf Tour events counted, would absolutely be in the uh, USA Olympics. But he said on the Pat McAfee show, when Pat McAfee was talking about it, saying that this is kind of uh, BS, we're talking about a guy that deserves to be there, um, but he can't be there because his tour doesn't count for official world golf ranking points. Bryson DeChambeau just responded with, yeah, it sucks, I really want to be there, but I knew the consequences when I signed up. Uh, for this thing I knew what I was doing and truly I think that that is the right you know sent uh, you know right thing to say if you're Bryson DeChambeau in this uh, situation uh, it, it makes sense that he signed up for a life where he was going to be left out of events and he uh, understood that left out of Ryder Cups left out of uh, USA Olympics he definitely could have been at the Ryder Cup last year instead of Ricky Fowler, and maybe USA wins the Ryder Cup, but uh, that is a conversation for a different day. Uh, but for this Team USA, I do think that it doesn't matter. I think that uh, USA is going to be able to get um, at least a couple of medals uh, in in golf. Looking at uh, the entire field uh, for Team USA golf, um, if I can. Uh, let me pull up uh, real quick all the rosters here. Um, I had it up, and I guess it was just the wrong. I guess it was just the wrong thing, uh, wrong graphic here. Um, there we go. Okay. So we have Scotty Scheffler, Xander Shoffley. Uh, another guy that can definitely win this one is Rory McIlroy, who could definitely get gold for Team Ireland, who we will be uh, representing. Um, I think it's the Republic of Ireland because they have to include Northern Ireland and Ireland, and you can't, of course, you can't just say Ireland for a golfer like Rory McIlroy, who has been very clear that he is Irish and not North Irish. Or, sorry, he is North Irish and not Irish. Uh, so, um, 
You also have Victor Hovland representing Norway, Ludwig Oberg representing Sweden, John Rahm representing Spain, Tommy Fleetwood, Great Britain, Matt Fitzpatrick, Great Britain. Those two could definitely do something. You have Jason Day with Australia, Seb Straka, Austria. Um, you have uh, Andrew Mon, uh with the Republic of Korea, Matthew Pavon with France, who we were talking about earlier, Shane Lowry with Ireland. So you have two Irish golfers, of course, Shane Lowry and Rory McIlroy. Um, but a lot of guys that um, a lot of guys that could make a make a name for themselves in this Olympics as well as you have a lot of guys from like places like China or the other Spain, Germany, Belgium, uh, New Zealand, Italy, uh, guys that aren't on the tour that can you know get their name out there throughout through these Olympics. It will be a very fun event. I can't wait to talk about that. Of course, that will be the first weekend in August, I believe it is. Uh, when the golf happens for this. But another team that I want to talk about a little bit is Argentina or Argentina. It will be Emiliano Grillo and Alejandro Tosti. Both these guys have won on the PGA Tour in their careers. Both guys can definitely, um, <clears throat> you know, show out for Argentina in the Olympics. That could be very special. So looking forward to seeing what those guys can do for their country in uh, the team or in the Paris Olympics. But yeah, just going back to the original point and my thoughts on it, I do think, I don't think that it matters too much. I do think that uh, USA clearly has, uh, I would say, three of the top six golfers in this field representing them. Uh, I would say three of the top six golfers in the field. I would say Sky Scheffler, Xander Shoffley, and Colin Morikawa. And then it's Ludwig Oberg, Victor Hovland, and Rory McIlroy who make up the other three of the six. So all those guys, I think, have really great opportunities to win a medal here at the Paris Olympics. I think it'll be a very interesting event. I'm mean, very excited for it, of course. Uh, but I So I don't think that it's a problem having Wyndham Clark there. And who knows? He could just go out there and win. And he can prove me wrong. And he could prove pretty much everybody wrong because, it, I mean, I'm definitely on the majority in saying this. Uh, but I think that it would have been nice to see Bryson DeChambeau or Patrick Cantlay in the Olympics, who I truly believe those two deserve it a little bit more than a um, Wyndham Clark does, who uh, hasn't been playing good golf as of late. And we'll talk about that in the next segment. Uh, he he gets he gets this nod despite some pretty poor performances, especially in the majors, and that's really what I want to talk about in that next segment. His major performances this year has been awful uh, on the backs of that U.S. Open last year, so. We'll see if he could turn it around, um, but for this Paris Olympics, um, <clears throat> it doesn't hurt having him there, of course. Uh, he is still, I mean, in, in the official world golf rankings, he is still the number fifth golfer in the world, right behind Ludwig Ober, which Ludwig Oberg being at fourth in the official world golf rankings, so impressive. This young man is fantastic, but Bryson DeChambeau only has 10 events that count. Compared to Wyndham Clark has 52. Wyndham Clark has the most events out of anybody in the top 10. Wyndham Clark has 42 events that count compared to... Or has 42 more events that count in the official world golf rankings than Bryson DeChambeau does. And Bryson DeChambeau is only... um, How many points behind is he? Um, He's behind him by... Only a hundred points in the total points. I mean, it's unfortunate. It, 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 it truly is unfortunate for Bryson DeChambeau, who has been fantastic in the majors this year. But he won't be at the U.S. Olymp- USA, or he won't be there for USA at the Olympics. A lot of people are pretty upset about that, and absolutely understanding. Uh, I don't know what happened to all of my sub or my titles for from the OBS, but. They all got mixed up. Uh, I apologize for that. A little bit technical difficulties, but uh, we got it working out. But we'll get into our fourth segment when I come back from my third break of the night, talking about Wyndham Clark's disappointing second half of this PGA Tour season. For the best and latest podcasts available anywhere, go to the podcast app on your cell phone and type in GSMC. 
to access free content-rich podcasts on health and wellness, book reviews, sports, entertainment, relationships, social media, movies, technology, finance, and even weird news. Subscribe and download the GSMC Podcast Network's family of shows, available everywhere podcasts are found.